The Vice Chancellor of the University of Medical Sciences on those dates, Professor Adeshegun Fatusi, has called for introduction of a bond system for doctors towards reducing mass movement of health workers outside the country. Professor Fatusi, who spoke at the annual general meeting of the Ondo State branch of the NMA, said medical doctors trained with public funds must sign a bond to work in the country for some years before leaving for greener pastures abroad. Ayodhya Dimoradi, your reports. According to official data, at least 5,600 medical doctors from Nigeria migrated to the United Kingdom in the last eight years. A total of 727 medical doctors trained in the country relocated to the UK in six months between December 2021 and June 2022. This development has continued to give those at the position of authorities serious concerns. Speaking at the 46th National Conference, of the Ndo State branch of the Nigeria Medical Association, the Vice Chancellor of the University of Medical Sciences, Ondo, Professor Adesha Gonfatusi, said there is a need to address brain drain in the health sector through introduction of signing of bond. But just to, to truly engage. He said doctors need to look inward to be able to meet obligations due to the economic downturn. Strongly that every doctor trained by the public fund of this appointment must have a bond of number of years he must work for the nation before leaving. And if he wants to leave earlier, he can buy back his bond. He can pay back the money. I just think the fair system. It may not be something popular, but something I believe in very strong. The state chairman of NME described brain drain in the F sector as a big problem in the face of tough economic challenges. Doctors that are currently practicing on those state and by extension in Nigeria has reduced drastically. And that is the truth. So how do some of us that are that are still around, how do we survive? And that is why we, we chose this topic, medicine and the future economy. The State Commissioner for Health, Sanjia Jaka, said the government has embarked on recruitment of health personnel across board. We are recruiting for primary health, for secondary, and the tertiary is huge. It's very huge. Not only doctors, farmers, all the health workers, all the cadres. So it's, it's huge. Speakers here believe that something drastic must be done to reduce the Jaffa syndrome and save the health system from total collapse. IDG Moradi, your TVC News, Akure.